it is Friday, and you know what that means? You get to hang out with me and this guy. Mm. Right? Yes. Well, aren't you so excited? I know I am. Thrilled. I'm sure you can tell by the sound of my voice. Sorry for those text messages coming through on my computer. That was my sister. So thanks, Bree. Uh -huh. Okay, so if you are new to this, here's what happens. I asked Doc I could be, be new to this. We've been yeah. doing this for how many years now? 5,000. <laughs> anyway, if you're new to this, I ask him questions. You submit it to me. He answers them. He's a qualified source. And you can either like it or you don't have to like it. We don't mind either way. Right? Yep. Cool. All right. So here are your questions today, Dr. Murphy. Okay. This question was submitted actually by Jane Patient. She wants to know what your thoughts are on regenerative therapies. Uh, I think it's much BS. Why is that? Do well, you want to tell them what regenerative therapies? Oh, is there's right? growth hormone. There's these cold sculpting. There's uh, you know hormones. There's food sources. This this. There's yeah. Uh, probiotics. I mean, all this stuff has been proven to regenerative. Oh. Now, I did read something I think about regenerative ther regenerative therapies that were like taking cells to replace cells and help. You know, jury's still out on that one too. So stem but, cells. Stem okay, cells. okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Okay. So, like, if I have a, a burn on my arm and I have some cells that you can take and put them in a little spinner and build me some new ones and stick them on my arm, <laughs> that's probably not how that works, is it? Uh, it's not that far off. <laughs> Look at me. So, what are your thoughts on things like that? I think. The outcomes are about the same. That's the problem. Yeah. I mean... Because uh, it's still really pretty new. Yeah, people get, uh, you know, injections in their knees, some stem cells and stuff like that. And they say it helps them. But if you read the scientific literature, it says there's really yeah. no difference in outcome. So regenerative therapies, that term is really incredibly broad also. It, it is. Can be a lot it of is. Things. But it's also very... It's broad, it's vague, it's, it's not very scientifically studied, so uh, there's not a lot of literature in the medical medical science about it, mm -hmm. so uh, no, I don't know. I think the jury's still out on it. Okay, so if you are watching this and you submitted that question and we didn't quite answer it how you were intending I think the it. question they're going to be asking is... Do I really want to do this? And you're going to find a lot of insurance companies don't pay for it. And it's going to be thousands and Because it's dollars. probably pretty experimental. At this yeah, point. and you can find some person that says, oh, I had it done. I feel great. Well, that might be that person. But then you're going to find another person that says, oh, I had it done. spent $7,000 and didn't do anything. So just like anything else, you know, time will tell. Yeah, I think there needs to be some more scientific studies. And until I can read something that makes sense, I really can't give yeah. a very good answer. And probably regenerative therapies on a much more scientific level, uh, in the, the ones that are still really super, um, you know, beginning stages, like, you know, the types in labs where they're really regrowing some hardcore technical stuff. They are, but it's all still all that's, experimental. That's going to be experimental and incredibly expensive, and so we don't really have access to that anyway, and, no. or a lot of uh, examples of how that works. No. Okay. Can't have I feel it. like I'm kind of tiptoeing around how to say it right, but, so we don't exactly quite know. So if this didn't answer your question totally and you have a specific example, submit that to us, and we'd be happy to review it. Okay. Or, or don't, so I don't have to answer it. You're going to have to answer something, so might as well do that. You know what I mean? Okay, so then your next question. Let me see how long we're, we were talking about that. This is real high-key, high-level stuff we're doing. Okay, so this question was submitted by your favorite son-in-law. He wants to know, I'm going to read you something real quick, about energy drinks and false positive drug tests. Have you heard about this? Okay, so no, uh, really. there are... I don't know how much of this is out there. This is an article I posted that was actually posted only a couple days ago about an individual who, now this sounds like a lot of BS, okay? So there was a guy who, um, 
he went in for a drug test. So this is an article that was submitted by a doctor. Mm -hmm. Or not a doctor, a, a, an attorney. So don't get wound up yet. Um, by an attorney. He said, my client tested positive for the presence of THC, the active ingredient in marijuana. Based on the results, he was facing numerous adverse consequences, including revocation of his probation, loss of the first offender sentencing, and jail time. So anyway, this guy swore that he did not consume THC. Okay. I never heard of such a thing. Probably did. Yeah. You know, I mean, that was an excuse. Like, I didn't do it. I was a doctor that can't see a jail yeah. one time. And I swear to God, every one of them were innocent. Yeah, they all are. They confessed to me. They told me they were framed. They were set up. Not a single one. Never been it's just so unfair. I've never seen a much larger population of wrong incarcerated individuals. Okay. Know, right? Yeah. So this guy says he did not do it. And he thinks that the positive test, the only thing he said he consumed was monster energy. And they said after some quick research, they found that riboflavin, riboflavin, how do you say that, a B vitamin, an ingredient in Monster, and ibuprofen, an alleged unlisted ingredient in the Monster Energy Brain drinks, can cause false, false positive drug screens for THC. Probably on a screen they can, but when it's confirmed, no. Yeah, so like your initial cup in the office thing might... Might be a false positive, but Nap when they send it to a lab. Yeah, Naperson can do it. Zantac can do it. Yeah. There's a few other medicines that can do it, but nah, yeah. send it to the lab, it's confirmed. So if the lab confirmed it, guess what? You're, uh, did it. You're, you did it. You're a stoner. Toked up. And we're, mm -hmm. we're not going to judge you for that. We don't care if you smoke pot. Well, I can judge you. Stoner. We're going to judge him anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's hot or something else. <laughs> uh, so. Oh, tell, tell Scott, my favorite son in law, I said hi. Oh, you're rude. He's not, okay. the one, he's not the one that submitted the question? No. Well, that's too bad. So here's the deal. That's all I, all I can think of at the um, moment. Okay. Well, you know, Scott doesn't watch these. <laughs> so. Okay, so here's the deal. When you get a drug screen in an office, if it's done at a clinic or something like that, usually they only have like a cup and a, and a little dipper to, to it's, determine it's, whether or it's not... It's a screening you, test, so it's very sensitive very and nonspecific. Sensitive. If it picks up anything that remotely looks like marijuana, it'll be positive. You're dang it. And then they'll send that on to a lab. Should. If. Should. Should. If it appears to have been tested positive for whatever. And then that lab will confirm exactly what it is. If that lab confirms it, it's positive. Yeah. So, mm, I don't know if that's real. Uh, I think he's been smoking it. Yeah. So, could you bing on the first round? Maybe. Will you bing on the second round? Only if you're a user. Right? Yeah. Well, there's your free advice Friday. So, I guess if you're going to be taking drug screens, people, you need to not be smoking your pot before your drug screen. If it's random, good luck. Yeah, and remember this. May the force be with you. It takes 30 days to get it out of your system. Yeah. Tell Scott hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good Saturday and enjoy yourselves and uh, have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye.